<laughs> He's so right. It's so true. Uh, make that cut ten. Go. If I don't have social media, I probably would not be standing. And you ever notice when I go on and I'll put like out a tweet or a couple of tweets, he's in a Twitter storm again. I, I don't do Twitter stuff. You know, you'll put on a little tweet. I'm going to be with the veterans today. They'll say, Donald Trump is in a Twitter storm. These are sick people. You know the thing I don't understand? <laughs> you would think, you would think they'd want to make our country great again. And I honestly believe they don't. I honestly believe it. If you want to discover the source of the division in our country, look no further than the fake news and the crooked media, which would rather get ratings and clicks than tell the truth. Yeah. For their role in fomenting divisions, and yes, by the way, Yes, by the way, they are trying to take away our history and our heritage. You see that. And, and I say it, and you know, we're all pros. We're all, like, we have a certain sense. We're smart people. These are truly dishonest people. And not all of them. Not all of them. You have to, honestly, these are really, really dishonest people. And they're bad people. And I really think they don't like our country. I really believe that. And I don't believe they're going to change, and that's why I do this. If they would change, I would never say it. The only people giving a platform to these hate groups is the media itself and the fake news. Who's David Duke attention but the media? He's a, he's a buffoon. Only thing President Trump succeeds in doing. He will have been a successful president. For decade after decade after decade, and now it's worse than ever. The media have fraudulently presented themselves to the American people, to you, as some kind of objective, nonpartisan entity just reporting the news. Now they're all out of the closet. A national conversation about race. We've been having a national conversation about race since at least the Civil War and before. We never have a national conversation about the behavior and the partisanship of the media. It's time that we have a national conversation about the behavior and partisanship of the media, and I think Donald Trump has rightly triggered this. I don't mean a debate about the First Amendment and freedom of the press. There's no question about that. I'm an originalist. It's the left that keeps trying to destroy the Constitution, not us, not me. But an honest-to-goodness discussion in this country about the media. The vast majority of the media are corporate entities. They're for-profit entities. And then, of course, you have government media like PBS and NPR, which we shouldn't even have. There's no need for PBS and NPR. And for monotone, then, you know, let them uh, compete in the commercial world. There's no need for government radio and government TV. And the good Guardian media in this country, certainly national media, are uh, corporate entities. It's in ship of the media. The behavior and the partisanship, quite frankly, are outrageous. The evidence is everywhere. That's the good thing about the media. They write and they talk. So by writing and talking, we get to read what they say and hear what they say, right? And when we come back, I want you to hear some of it. And I think we need to have a discussion about Anna Navarro, who is a complete moron. I think we have to have a discussion about Don Lemon, who's another complete moron. And Joe Scarborough, he's not only a complete moron, he looks like the banjo player in Deliverance, as I've said many times. Eugene Robinson, George Stephanopoulos, and all the rest of the morons. Yes. It's time for a national discussion about the media. I'll be right back. Mark Lopez.